had a thought this morning about the Bible and we'll always hear and I used to teach myself that the Bible interprets the Bible if I want to understand this portion of the Bible well some other portion of the Bible will explain it and uh, like I say I always adopted that agreed with that and never really thought about it and as I think about it more I've been thinking about it more in the last couple of years as I've gotten more in tune with the spirit of the one who wrote the Bible combined with observing how people will get in these tremendous fights and arguments and separations it doesn't get quite as bad as it does in Islam although in the past it has resulted in fighting and death and murder and violence and all these things but still people get violently angry and separate over these things on a, a verse that they both say this is what the Bible says and no this is what the Bible says well wait you're both saying the same thing so that would indicate to me that apparently the Bible doesn't and explain itself independent of the one who wrote it so yes the Bible interprets the Bible in the context of being in the presence of the author of the Bible that's why you can have so many theologians and professors and specialists and the super intelligent people I mean smarter than me know more about the text and the Hebrew and the Greek and translations and history and things like that than I do and a lot of other people do and don't have a clue as to their God his spirit his personality his nature his kindness his love yes the Bible interprets itself as long as you're using the interpreter because obviously people have misinterpreted it to all kinds of bad effects I think somebody said that uh, Manson used the Bible for some of the things he did maybe even proclaimed that he was teaching it or executing its commands or something so I don't know if I'm gonna give this a title that's controversial because people get so upset if you simply ask a question, if I said something like, should we be guided by the Bible or something, I'm sure people would just blow it off instantly. I ain't even going to look at that or they'd be very angry and respond so to the title, which I've also been guilty of doing in the past. But I've learned not to, to actually listen to what people have to say. Even if they're wrong, at least you see where they're coming from. So hopefully you watch this and you see where I'm coming from, whether I gave it a controversial title or not because it's all about the spirit it's all about the spirit of God it's all about the spirit of your father and getting to know him because if you don't know Jesus then you're just doing stuff that anyone can do that's quite apparent all you gotta do is ask yourself can any so-called sinner worldly person Muslim or Buddhist or whatever do the things that religious people do and my answer would be yeah of course they can they can all do those things a lot of them can do it better just because they have ability to discipline themselves and that would indicate also that that's not what it's all about so when you really look at what life with God is all about it's about his spirit some people might be guided to read the Bible constantly all the time every day some not so much that's not the point that's a man-made thing to say that you should read five hours a day all right as soon as you get out of bed and I'm not even necessarily saying that's a bad thing if that's where you are that's where you are I'm simply saying that use the Bible for what it is use it for what it was given for it was given as a tool to get us closer to our God and it is not our God there's principles and there's truths and there there's quotes and facts and things that he said we can see whoops just ran out of gas. We can see what he believes about things and what's important to him, but that doesn't mean we go to the Bible to the exclusion of his spirit. Obviously, if you put it that way, I think everyone would agree. I hope everyone would agree. It's just that I understand the fear that people think, well, now you're just going to go and make up your own thing. People do that anyway. People are going to do that anyway. Even if they... You, 
you say that, well, I just interpret the Bible by the Bible. I interpret this page by that page, this piece of paper with ink on it by that piece of paper with ink on it. The point is, is you got to trust the spirit at some point. And then if you have a conflict, you, you might get an indication of who's following the spirit by how that conflict goes. Because the Bible says iron sharpens iron. So if I say something that's outrageous to you or you say something outrageous to me and I just got outraged and shut you out right off the bat without trying to find out what you're all about, it might indicate what I'm all about. I'm all about words and letters, which Paul made it clear, the letter kills, but the spirit brings life in the big way as an eternal and, and also in the life that exists in a relationship. A relationship can have a life of its own between two people where you relate to each other in a way that doesn't demand or require that you agree on everything perfectly with each other. You're actually able to listen to each other. That's a living relationship. So by benefit of that spirit living in you, you can seek the truth. Even though you feel strongly and disagree strongly about something, you can consider, well, maybe I'm not listening to the spirit in this one. But if you have the the idea that, well, no, I know exactly what the Bible says and I will hear nothing otherwise. I think that indicates where you're coming from. And again, I've been there. I'm not pointing a finger. I know. I've been there. I've had these rudimentary, regimented, just this is the way it is. And if you don't agree with me, well, you're just, you're just out of whack. And I still might have those tendencies in me to this today and get religious about my own freedom and the things I've learned. These are things we struggle with. We're supposed to struggle with them. I'm just trying to encourage people to struggle while in the presence of the spirit of your God. I'm not saying that's something new and no one ever thought of it. And I'm sure most people think they do that anyway all the time. But if you're honest with yourself, hey, we all get religious sometimes, don't we? We all get to the point where we have these locked and loaded rules that we go by. And this is how it's done. And if you don't fall in line between these parameters of how it's done, well, then you're just wrong. And like I say, I've lived that way, but I, I didn't learn much. I didn't learn much. I, I didn't really get to see where people are coming from. Now I can see where people are coming from more. And it's interesting because sometimes they're coming from where I used to come from. And I seem to have less patience for that. It's funny. I should be more sympathetic. But that's another thing about my growth anyone's growth you're going to grow and you're going to get stubborn in certain times you're going to get less tolerant at certain times you're going to be more tolerant certain times or maybe more accurately in certain circumstances or certain people regarding certain ideas and certain thoughts so I, I, again this is not an attack this is just an encouragement to read the bible in the way it was intended to be read not as our god but as a tool to get to know our god and if you do it like that, then you'll get to know them and you'll get to know the scriptures even better than you ever could than just reading them as a theologian or a professor or some genius who wouldn't know God if he stepped on their big toe. And that's my thought. In Jesus' name, amen.